everyone! Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna be talking about more cancel culture stuff. This time it seems like a few virtual celebs have taken it upon themselves to cancel themselves from voice acting roles on a few animated TV shows. First, we have Jenny Slate, who played a biracial character Missy Foreman on the animated show Big Mouth. She announced her own cancellation on Instagram with this post. I have come to a decision today that I can no longer play the character of Missy on the animated TV show Big Mouth. At the start of the show, I reasoned with myself that it was permissible for me to play Missy because her mom is Jewish and white, as am I. But Missy is also black, and black characters on an animated show should be played by black people. I acknowledge how my original reasoning was flawed, and that it existed as an example of white privilege and unjust allowances made within a system of social white supremacy, and that in me playing Missy, I was e engaging in an act of erasure of black people. Ending my portrayal of Missy is one, of one step in a lifelong process of uncovering the racism in my actions. As I look back on the nature of emergence of my own voice and comedy, I know that I have made a mistake along the way. I can't change the past, but I can take accountability for my choices. I will continue to engage in a meaningful anti-racist action, to be thoughtful about the messages in my work, to be curious and open to feedback, and to do my best to take responsibility for the ways that I am a part of the problem. Most importantly though, to anyone that I've heard, I'm so very sorry. Black voices must be heard, Black Lives Matter. Next we have Kristen Bell, who I used to really like. I'm a Veronica Mars fan. She also decided to step away from her voice acting role on the animated show Central Park. She played another biracial character, Molly. She announced this on social media saying, this is a time to acknowledge our acts of compliancy. Here's one of mine. Playing the Molly in Central Park shows a lack of awareness of my pervasive privilege. Casting a mixed race character with a white actress undermines the specificity of the mixed race and black American experience. It was wrong and we on the Central Park team are pledging to make it right. I'm happy to relinquish this role to someone who can give a much more accurate portrayal and I will commit to learning, growing, and doing my part for equality and inclusion. Her tweet was accompanied by a picture of what the Central Park team had come up with as well. <sighs> All right. This frustrates the hell out of me, and here's why. I'm a huge fan of animation in all its forms. When I was a kid, I knew I wanted to be involved in the animation world, whether it was to draw it, to write it, or voice act for it. I wanted to be a voice actor. I worked on my voice acting skills, and although I ultimately didn't pursue this line of career, it's something that I've always greatly admired. I believe animation is a world where anyone can be whatever they want to be. The job of a good actor is to embody the character that they have to portray. Take Robin Williams, for example. As most people know, Robin Williams voiced Genie on Disney's animated film Aladdin. He was the Genie. When he voiced Genie, he became Genie. Does that mean Robin Williams should have been a blue genie in real life? No, that's silly, it's ridiculous. There are many other iconic voice actors that have brought to life animated characters that do not fit the physical description of the, that character in any way, shape or form. One such iconic character is Nancy Cartwright, who voiced Bart Simpson among many others on The Simpsons. In more recent animated shows, Bob's Burgers, which also stars Jenny Slate, had a host of iconic characters like Tina, Linda, and many others voiced by white men. 
Should they all be recast? Setting this type of precedence is not a good idea. All it does is create more division and stifles creativity. I'm Persian Canadian, but my background, being Middle Eastern, means according to this kind of mentality that I would have to wait to be cast as a Persian cartoon character. There aren't many Persian cartoon characters. Does that mean that I feel as though I've been underrepresented in cartoons and anime? Have I felt left out? Of course not. Animation has always been a place of escape for me, a sacred place where I would turn to and to get away from this world. We need creativity now more than ever, and this type of division is counterproductive. What does this say? That black voice actors have to now be confined to act as black characters? They can't act as a white character or someone from another race? Why? If they can do the voice and embody that character, what's the problem? The problem, I think, is our own perception. In animation, you have to relinquish control over your own perceptions. And relinquishing control is hard for a lot of people. I don't believe in this kind of creative limitation. It's just going to make the art suffer. Creating borders and limitations on art is so silly. Anyway, that's what I think. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. Smash that like if you like this video. And if you didn't, that's okay too. Oh, and please subscribe and hit that no notification bell so you're notified the next time I drop a video. Take care, guys. Bye.